everyone, welcome to Photo Play's YouTube channel and welcome back to Tuesdays with Tina. I am super excited to share with you a few projects. We're using the 12 by 12 collection pack called Wildflower Dreams today. I love this. There's a lot of cut aparts in this 12 by 12 collection pack um, and it goes perfect with card making because of all the greetings that are in the cut aparts. There's just a note, there's thank yous, there's smile. So it's great for scrapbooking and card making. And so we'll be using this on our card. We're also going to be using um, the Coordinating Wildflower Dreams 4x6 stamp set. This is a quality photopolymer stamp set. I'm really loving the butterfly in here. And then the greetings are just fabulous. I love the block lettered font along with the scripty. The die set will cut out all of the images in the stamp set, including the butterfly and all the greetings. There's some foliage in here too that's pretty fabulous. So we're going to be using the coordinating dies to cut out our stamped images today. So let's jump in and pick out some pattern papers and we'll get started. Now I picked out some pattern papers. We have the Follow Your Dreams 12 by 12 sheet. I'm also going to be using the polka dot sheet that says You Inspire Me. Um, this one I thought was really pretty with the wood grain and the flowers on the bottom. This is called Embrace the Moment. We'll be using those. And then I have two cut aparts. Lots of cut aparts in, in this collection. This sheet here is standard, so you have three by four cut aparts and then four by sixes. Um, we'll be using some of these, and then I'm also going to be using some here. I love that there's, there's strips that you can use. There's some strips over here that make really quick and easy cards. Um, but there's a lot of greetings in here too. I tell you the names of these sheets because some of your favorite craft stores will sell these sheets individually. But this is Stay Magical and this is Shine On. Okay, the, the Stay Magical has purple in the back with this real pretty pattern. I think I'm going to be using this on our cards today too. So it's going to be hard to pick the cut aparts and the background paper. Um, how pretty is this? Just so pretty. Okay, let's trim trim some down for our first card. So I'll place this in my trimmer and I'm just gonna trim it here. Cut out the hello. I think we're going to use both of these on our cards today. Okay. For my first card, what I like to do with the cut aparts is die cut them out. So I have the brand new nested tags die set. This is what this die set looks like. It's perfect for A2s. Um, I'm going to take the middle size, so there's five of these nested tags. I'm going to take the middle one, and I'm going to die cut this out, kind of centering it as best as I can. While I was die cutting, I also die cut out my reinforcements. There's four different kinds and, and two different sizes. One, one set has stitch detail, the other one is just a plain one. And I think I'm going to put the stitch detail up here. So I'll just add a little bit of glue around here. What's nice is too that they're different sizes, but you can layer them together. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to use the stitch detail for this one. There's our tag. Okay. I'm going to thread some twine through here and I'm going to tie a bow with this. Now I have my card base here, the side folding, a two size card base, and then I have two panels that I trim down. I have this one that's two and three quarter inches tall by four and a quarter inches wide. We're going to attach this to the very bottom of our card base. And then we have this next piece that's the same pattern as our tag, actually. And this is three and a half inches tall by four and a quarter inches wide. We're going to just layer this over the top. This is the piece that had the cut aparts in the back. But the great news is you get two sheets of each. So you don't have to 
to pick and choose, you get extras. After we have this done, I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to add some foam tape behind here and then we'll place this right in the center. Now when I place this, I'm going to, you see the hello? I'm actually going to end up covering up the hello. So I'm going to make sure that the hello is right in the middle of my seam here. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my stamp set and we're going to do a little bit of stamping here. I'm going to stamp the butterfly and I'm going to stamp hello there. I'm going to use my black ink here. We'll just ink this up. We'll stamp this and then I'll stamp my butterfly. It's just stamped beautifully. I'm also going to stamp this flourish here. It just has the green leaves. I want to stamp this a few times too. So I'll take my dies. I'm going to separate them. But I do want to mention that inside our die set is a, it includes a bonus color me sheet, which is this piece here. So you don't even have to stamp if you're in a hurry or you're taking this to go. You can actually color these in and die cut them out. They'll coordinate beautifully with your die set. Once we have these die cut out, we're going to take the sticker sheet. In our sticker sheet, we have this border piece. So I'm going to take this. Since this is longer than our card panel, what I'm going to do is cut out a section in the middle. We're going to just shorten it here. I'm going to take out the middle rainbow and I'm going to layer it on my card base to where just a little bit overhangs and I'm covering up that that hello. I'll do the same thing over here. What this is going to do is cover up the seam and I think I'm going to trim a little bit more off the, this piece here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a piece of foam tape and put it underneath just so everything is nice and even. Just tack that down. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take the, now I'm going to take my hello that I stamped and we're going to pop this up with some small foam squares. I'm just going to add one, place this right in the center here, and then we're going to tuck our, I did put foam square be underneath our foliage, and I'm going to create a swag with it to the left and right of my greeting. So now we have a little bit of dimension. And you know, I was going to add my butterfly, but I think I'm going to save this for another card. So we'll put this to the side. We're going to finish this card off with a few gems. We're just going to add some in our background here. And that will finish off that card. Pretty quick and easy card using the cut aparts. We're going to jump in to our next card. For my next card, we're going to make a landscape style card, so I need to shrink this a little bit. So we need this to be at least four and a quarter, so I'm going to trim a little bit off the top. About a half of an inch. We'll just add some glue, and I'm going to center this on my card base. I think this is just going to be a little bit easier. We will tack this down, and then anything overhanging, we're going to trim away. And then I trim down a piece of the polka dot pattern paper. We're going to cover up the seam area. Kind of give it a landing area for those florals. We'll tack this down. Now this leftover strip, I'm going to trim this down to a half inch strip. I'm going to layer this right over the seam. 
Now I did stamp one more butterfly, so we're going to use both of the butterflies here. But I'm going to bring in some twine. This is some black twine. I'm going to wrap it around and I'll tie a bow off to the left here. I'll just straighten it out and then we're going to add our butterflies. I always like to just add one foam square behind the butterfly body and then fluff up the wings. Of course they're going to flatten during mailing but I think it looks really fun. And we're going to add two little butterflies. And we're going to place both butterflies here. And then I'll add some sparkle. I like to add some gems to the butterfly bodies. And that will finish off that card. Didn't take any time at all with the cut apart. For my next card, I trimmed down a panel with the polka dot pattern paper. Now this is a quarter inch shy on top and bottom of my card base. So I have a little white peeking out here and here. Once we have this adhered, I have this that we trimmed down from the cut apart sheet. Okay, um, we're going to attach this to this. But I want to use a different greeting, so I'm going to cut away, stop and smell the flowers, just using my scissors. I'm going to go around it. Now I had layered my, my cut apart piece on my border piece. I put some twine behind the back of it and then we're going to tack it down and then I'm going to tie a bow off to the side here. We'll add this and then I can tie a bow off to the left. covering that seam. I always like to cover up my seams. I think it just makes for a more finished look. I think we'll make a thank you card. So I'm going to take the greeting that says thank you from our stamp set and we're going to stamp this with the same black ink on some white cardstock here. I will cut this out and I'll be right back. And then also in our sticker sheet, we have some more of, I'm going to take this sticker here next and I'm going to add it. We're going to add two small foam squares behind here and we're going to tuck this underneath here just so it looks continuous and we have a little extra dimension on that panel. There's also a little tiny heart in here. that I think we'll add here. We're going to add a few gems to the center of each one of these little, I forget what these are called, um, but they're so pretty. And then that will finish that card. So we have some sparkle there. Okay, let's take a look at all three cards that we made today using the Photo Play Papers Wildflower Dreams Collection Pack and the Cut Aparts along with the stamp set that coordinates. Some fun Just Because cards. We have a hello there, a thank you, and a just a note. Hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration using the Wildflower Dreams Collection Pack. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.